Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Faisa. If you are new here, this is Miss Sophia. Good job. This is Miss Sophia. She is almost five months old. She'll be five months next week. I am pulling up my questions now because I am using my phone to film this. All right, so we are a military family. My husband has been, oh wait, this is part of the questions. I can't tell you this part. I have the questions here on my computer, have them pulled up. And I'm also gonna be doing a little bit of like advice. Of course, I do not know everything. I'm a newbie, just like a lot of other people. So I'm just gonna give my little pit, my little bits and pieces of advice. The very first question is, how did you and your spouse meet? So me and my husband Dylan actually met at the University of Mississippi. Uh, we both went to Ole Miss. Um, we actually both worked at Home Depot. I was a cashier. Dylan was a order picker. Um, but he came in already interested, you know, toot my own horn, but beep beep. Um, whole video about that, but you know, I'll tag that below. Um, the second question is how old when you two, how old were you when you two met? Oh wow, so yeah, I was 20, Dylan was 21. All right, where are you and your spouse originally from? So we both are from Mississippi. I am from North Mississippi, Dylan is from South Mississippi. And we met in the middle basically at Ole Miss in Oxford. Um, how did you feel about him joining the military? Okay, so really, Dylan was already military before he, before I met him. So he was Air National Guard and I'm probably answering the other question with this, but Dylan was Air National Guard. He was Air National Guard for when I met him. So I kind of came, I don't want to say I came into like the military lifestyle, but I kind of had a good idea. Um, and he also was ROTC at University of Mississippi. So I was used to him leaving like the first of every month and for that whole weekend. And then during the summers he would have, you know, he would leave for that for different like assignments and stuff. Like how I feel about him joining the military. I was already okay with it at the time. Like you're like, oh, he's in this little uniform. He's cute. Like, you know, so it was, you kind of got used to it, but you know. Um, it says where did your spouse go for basic training so for basic training of so okay wait i missed this part so when he did rotc through university of mississippi he graduated and commissioned in as an officer so his um basic training that was in texas yeah his first one was in Texas, and then his basic training for uh, active duty was in Mississippi slash Alabama. Has your spouse ever been deployed? So we are currently on our first deployment. Um, of course, I can't say like when he left, how long he's been gone. Can't say anything like that, but um, We've been away from him from a little, for a little while now, so we actually moved back to Mississippi for the time being because Miss, Miss Sophia is mighty little, so yeah. Have you ever been to his promotion ceremony? So, all the way up to E5, he commissioned in as an officer, and I've been to that ceremony, but as far as him going from like 01 to 02, which he's 02 now, I didn't have a ceremony for that, but I was at his commissioning ceremony. How long have you been a military wife? So I will have been a military wife for two years and here's coming up on October 23rd, which is our anniversary. So that'll be two years. Um, did you marry him before or after he joined? Um, after. So we got engaged in August. I moved out to be with him he left in July. I moved out there in moved out there in 
was it August or I think it was end of September mm -hmm. and we got married in October how did your husband propose so I don't know if I have a video up on this channel but uh, the um, Dylan proposed in Arkansas Little Rock Arkansas we're on base we actually met halfway we're currently stationed in Oklahoma City Oklahoma so we actually met halfway in Little Rock Arkansas it was five hours for him four for me and that was kind of like our meeting point um he <laughs> if you listen I don't know if he's talked about this on our channel I'll see if I can find it and I'll link it but he talked about how we had been my aunt lives in Louisiana by the way and we had been to Louisiana and there's like the pier the boardwalk he was thinking that he was going to propose on the boardwalk he was halfway down here he said he thought oh my gosh that was in Louisiana not Arkansas because we had been to Arkansas like once a month to see each other while he was already here because he had been here since July been there since July and he would literally he was literally freaking out he said I took too long to get ready we were supposed to go out the first night that we got there and then um he said I think he just kind of got like you know whatever I'm just gonna do it I can't wait any longer so he actually proposed to me in the hotel room so that's a funny story we should probably talk about that if I haven't but I want to say that we have a video on that where did you get married so we actually got married in courthouse we got married um on a wednesday in the courthouse um we don't know if we're actually gonna plan like a wedding wedding we're pretty convinced that we are but i don't know if it'll be a wedding more like a seller uh more like a ceremony so we're actually kind of trying to figure out if we're gonna do that right now probably when he gets back from deployment and we get settled at our next duty station how old were you two when you got married um Dylan's 26 now he was 24 I was 23 um did he wear his uniform on his wedding day he did not he wore a dress shirt and khakis so I don't think that he plans on wearing it in the actual ceremony that we have but he may wear it for pictures <laughs> where is your spouse currently stationed so we are currently stationed in oklahoma city oklahoma at tinker air force base do you live on base we actually did live on base we lived we lived on base for one full year um which we really liked it the housing was really nice um we didn't we don't really have any complaints i mean of course the houses are a little older but our house that we actually got was well kept up so we enjoyed it um how long were you married when you had to go through your first separation um so we got married in october our first separation was a tdy trip that dylan had to go on and i want to say he went on that tdy trip in march um had a trip this year that he went on but this is our first deployment what is your favorite base so far um so i do have a couple of family members that are in the military and i've visited other bases um i don't think tinker's not my favorite but i would say that i really like arkansas i like virginia i can't remember the name of that base and uh Bossier City. I can't remember the name of that base either. But I do like Tinker, but it's just not my favorite. But I like it. Um, do you think your spouse looks good in his uniform? Next question. Do you think military life is more advanced than civilian life? Um, I wouldn't say advanced. I think that's a I don't like that choice of words. Um, I think it's different. Um, I think it's I think you have to get used to like rules like there are certain things that you kind of need to go by certain certain aspects of it that you don't have to really deal with with civilian life obviously like you know especially living on base you have to have your ID and you know 
certain speed limits that you can't go over. It's a little bit more, I don't want to say strict, but kind of. Um, do you like the benefits you receive as a military dependent? I mean, yes. I don't see why, what would be a negative of that. I mean, healthcare for her especially, um, military discount, that's always nice. So, do you have a lot of military wife friends? So, a lot, no. Some, yes. Um, and that's actually part of like some of the advice that I wanted to give. The best way to find military wife friends are to join the Facebook pages. When you find out whatever base you're going to, join that page. And it, you'll be excited on the base. And there's always other women that are like saying, hey, I'm moving here. I want to meet people, any friends. And then that's how it happens. But you really meet some really great people. And also, depending on where you work, like I worked on base for a while, which I really like that. Um, you meet friends there. Um, and some of those are military wives. Um, but yeah, that's some advice on how to make friends. Um, what is the hardest part about military life? I think the hardest part is going to be missing holidays with your families as like your new family you have to create your own traditions like what do you want to do like you know because you can't just up and go home like how most people could go home when they live like an hour away depending on how far you live away some people live very relatively close and they can just fly back but for the most part you have to make your own traditions um do you own military wife stuff i do not i do not um I don't. I wouldn't be opposed to it, but I just don't own any. Do you support your spouse as a member of the military? 1000%. Um, I love the fact that there's a lot of security as far as like our future for him being in as long as possible. Um, and I know mostly because I know that's his dream. That's something that he's always wanted to do. He has so many goals and he's so incredibly amazing at it. And he does such a wonderful job that I know he'll just be awesome. So that pretty much wraps up this video. Um, I can do other military inspired videos like my tips that helped me through this deployment. Um, so yeah. Bye, guys. She bye. She bye, mommy. What are you looking at?